Hi guys, today's topic on explanator is going to be on working of class C thyristor commutation circuit. We know that thyristor commutation refers to switching off a working thyristor. Since class C comes under the category of forced commutation, for constructing this circuit, we will need a DC supply, two thyristors, a capacitor and loads R1 and R2. Let's find out how class C commutation circuit works. Okay, I guess you are aware that thyristor when it is switched off is an open switch and when switched on is a closed switch. In the initial state, let's assume that the circuit is off. None of the thyristors are conducting and the capacitor is not charged as well. Now let's turn on thyristor T1. The current has a path to travel from battery, load R1, thyristor and back to battery. Also current will flow through the battery, load R2, capacitor and back to battery. With this current, the capacitor gets charged to right hand side positive and left hand side negative. When the capacitor charges to battery voltage, the current will stop flowing in the second section. So now the thyristor T1 is carrying load current and capacitor is completely charged. We will call this capacitor voltage as Vs. The circuit is working absolutely fine till now. But now if you want to put off T1 thyristor, how would you do it? For that, you need to turn on thyristor T2 so that the current will now pass through T2 as well. It is very well known that when thyristor conducts, it acts like a closed switch. So we can safely draw T2 to be a straight line which acts as a short circuit. With this, the charges on the capacitor will travel onto the thyristor which means positive charge will appear across the cathode and negative charge will appear across the anode. This voltage is of the magnitude Vs and it is large enough to reverse bias thyristor T1. So the thyristor T1 will turn off. This sequence which appears long in this video appears in a fraction of time. So the load current in T2 will continue while T1 turns off. There is no break in the load current. Now this state of the circuit is a mirror image of the circuit that we started with. The load current is flowing through T2 and there is a path for current to flow through capacitor as well. The current through the capacitor will charge it with left hand side positive and right hand side negative. When the capacitor will attain battery voltage, the current stops flowing in the circuit. Now this polarity which the capacitor has attained is opposite when compared with the earlier pattern. So this voltage will be called as minus Vs. The circuit is working with load current flowing through T2 and the capacitor charge to Vs. To turn off T2, we will have to fire thyristor T1. Load current will flow through T1 and T1 we can show as a closed switch because of which the charges will travel from the capacitor to thyristor T2. The anode gets negative charge and the cathode gets positive charge. This voltage of magnitude minus Vs will reverse bias the thyristor T2. The capacitor is discharged and the circuit returns to the same state as that during the start. To summarize, the switching on of one thyristor commutates the second thyristor. For this reason, class C commutation is also known as complementary commutation. The source of energy is the capacitor which is charged during the conduction period of the SCR which is to be commutated. The circuit turn of time is decided by the time constant of series RC network. That is how a class C circuit works for commutating a thyristor. Do watch out for the next video where we will plot the associated waveforms of this circuit. If you find this explanation convincing then do give it a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe to catch up with the latest updates from explanator because every solution has a simple explanation.